Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1990 Japanese exclusive. This is the MicroMaster playset Sky Hyper. So this was released in 1990, one full year later than the Hasbro alternative which is probably a reason why this is looking so familiar. This is of course Sky Hopper with the pilot inside that again was known as Sky Hopper and of course he was a little jet whereas as you can see with this particular set there isn't a jet at all this little guy's name is dead wheeler we're going to have a quick look at him as well and he is a redeco of free wheeler which was the yellow figure from the race pot race car patrol again we'll have a look at these and compare them when i take him out of the box but before we do so we've got to have a look at the beautiful beautiful artwork and it is it's just a redeco of skyhopper um but because he's now an autobot or a cybertron as they were known in japan they've gone with the more i suppose um yeah the more used autobot colors with the red and white so there we go we've got this number here which is c which stood for cybertrons which was autobots and this is his reference number so again this completely clarifies how many more figures they had in japan so he was 346 we can see there's the base mode there's the helicopter mode and there indeed is uh the as i say the micromaster right there is the playset again on the top and as I say, I want to make sure I get the names right. So it's Dead Wheeler, Free Wheeler is the Hasbro one. Now, this is what makes, I suppose, the zone figures um, as good as they are. And the fact that they were, and in fact, all the MicroMasters, even when Hasbro released them, the fact that they are these amazing little play sets that do all link together. So I can see here we've got, you know, Metroplex. There, funnily enough, is Sky Hyper there. There is Galaxy Shuttle, both modes. Um, and we've got all the other the MicroMaster bases, Countdown, etc., all building a huge, huge city. We've got a little nod there to the episode. And there was only one cartoon episode of the... Um, uh, called zone itself so there's just one episode and there's a brilliant little nod to it there and we've just got more product shots on the side right the uh tech spec is there and then this is what i like about these i think it's really clever that they did this in japan you can see they put the robot points on the inner flap so you didn't have to cut or damage the boxes at all so this guy comes packaged with his inner packaging just like this there we go there he is with all the bits all bagged up and he comes also with his paperwork which is just fallen out behind it um, this is a used copy because um, the sticker sheet has been used um, we've got the instructions which again are quite simple but i'm going to go through both modes on this video uh, we've got the feedback card and we've got this beautiful zone catalog i'm not going to spend much time on this because i've done a separate video on this on the channel already and i suppose this is the main figures there from the zone toy lineup there is diatlas sonic bomber and once again there's videos of all of these on the channel separately if you wanted to watch them as well so let's move these out of the way let's get out the accessories and indeed the main body so this is pretty much how he did come packaged not how he would have come packaged how he did come packaged with the paperwork would have been in the side now let's have a look at it it is a lovely lovely color i'm so pleased it's still um white it hasn't fully sun faded yet it's not bright bright white um but to me it's, it's looking good enough as i'm and i'm hoping i'm going to be able to transform it with no issues whatsoever as well so let's have a look we'll go with helicopter mode at first which is we're going to attach the rotor blades why was i going to put it there i have no idea we were going to put them there and then the parts we've got in here these they're taped up but again you can already tell that this place that i think has been used because they put the stickers on it um i brought this from another private collector to be honest and he's just had this for years and years and years he very very kindly contacted me saw the channel he saw that i was after a couple of japanese figures and yeah very kindly agreed uh, to sell me some of the ones from his collection to help me complete mine so huge huge thanks to lynn Darwin for that so we've got the radar dish which has got well it's going to double up as a radar dish that's going to attach to the back there is the micromaster in fact while we're here right now let's do a very quick comparison between the hasbro variant and the Tak oh, and the takara only difference is exactly that just the color scheme it's exactly the same mold and just as i say the color scheme so there we go let's put that there 
Right, we don't need the ramps until it's in base mode. The long, thin gun is going to attach via that port at the bottom. That's really stiff. So maybe you, I'm not too sure if it's been played with. It must have been because that bit's in the middle there. Um, and what that bit in the middle is, I'm going to show you in a second. So here are the side guns. Um, there we go. And the bit in the middle there, you can see it's got a little dowel on it. And that little dowel means that you can then transform your MicroMaster and he will stand to pilot it. So we've got this cut out there and then this will slot, should do. Stand in and over. Has I got it in? I can't tell. There we go, it looks like he's in there. So I think what we definitely need to do is some comparisons. You can clearly see the difference between the colors. It's an obvious, completely different deco. This is the more traditional Decepticon, you know, the purples, and this is the more traditional Autobot, the white um, and the red. He's loose, of course, because just pulled him out. And again, all the accessories are, I suppose they just, again, suit their faction. We've got gray and purple, whereas we've got red and blue all right let's move this guy out of the way just for now and i'm gonna actually have a go at doing this in one take on the video so let's take the propeller blades out these are all one by the way they don't fold in half they're just all one and of course there is where they're rotating uh, the radar dish i'm going to take off at the back i'm going to just start to take all the little pieces off uh, for now and then I'm going to take that off. So now, if memory serves me correct, we open up the front like so. We then open up the sides like so. This is going to come off. Yeah, this must have been played with then because this shouldn't go. Well, it doesn't go there in the base mode unless it was just kept there for storage. Again, the stickers on here look beautiful. It, it perhaps has been played with, but it's in fantastic condition. Look at the fact these are things to look out for. Even if you're after the Hasbro one, you don't want any corrosion inside these on the beams. These fold out. The stickers on it look great. Um, and indeed, this carefully that's folded up reasonable actually that's going to fold up all the way then these fold out as well these were ingenious little things i don't think these got the credit that they deserve to be honest the micromaster bases because they were as you can see or well, hopefully as you're going to see in a second oops as he just pulls that off just a load of fun right so there is your basic bog standard base if you've got no accessories it's a little bit bland whereas if you've got the accessories this is going to go on the front right there that's going to fit just pretty much exactly. I didn't have to take it off to be honest looking at that the rotor blades now go where I was going to put them um the first time around they go on the back yes they do I'm just checking so we've got three ramps you've got two which are the same and these just as I say end whereas you've got this is a connecting a connecting ramp so you can connect this to other play sets so we're going to put these on here like so don't worry I'm going to pick the camera up in a second when it's fully built so one of these either side and as I say I'm going to attempt to I might have to um, commandeer the kitchen table downstairs though um, one day when everybody's out and try and build a huge huge city because I really need to because especially with some of these zone figures they're just so much fun I'm struggling getting this in but I don't want to break it I always get really nervous when doing this. I probably shouldn't transform them or at least do things like this, but I want to share them with you and I want you to see them all as well. Right, why is that not going in? That's a bit better. Is that in? I might have to stand up and reach over to get this in. That's better. So that's gone in there now, no problem. Right, this is the connecting ramp. So this is going to go at the front. And as I said, you could connect this to other play sets, including if you're a younger viewer or you only collect the newer figures, the Earthrise, uh, so Skylinks, um, Hot House, Ironworks, all them. This will even connect to them. It is a pretty uh, much, I was going to say, industry standard connectivity ramp, even through the G1 and into the later figures. That's just about made its way on there. This ramp that was on the inside of the cockpit is now going to go on there. And now, of course, we need to power it up. So let's put the big gun under there. The two small guns, one either side, like so. And then, of course, the MicroMaster. Is it Dead Wheeler? It must be, yeah. Dead Wheeler can then go on the side. Right, bear with me with this. Let's pick this up. And that's how it looks. 
works. I think that's still out, to be honest. I'm going to have a go at putting that back in properly in a second. But this is the MicroMaster playset Sky Hyper in his rather swish looking uh, base mode. And again, MicroMasters are perfect with these in either mode. Um, they work really, really well. And so do the old original Takara World Smallish Transformers as well. They work really well with this particular figure. So one last thing to do, because I'm going to be displaying it in helicopter mode, just because it's that little bit smaller. Let's just very quickly then take it back. So open, take the weapons off, take that off. Uh, I'm going to keep the radar dish there, obviously, because I've realised that I can. And then what I think I'll do, I'll do another video as well on Skyhopper, uh, just because most people won't have actually heard of this particular one. Um, and it would obviously it's a perfect opportunity to do that so let me see if I can attach this back hopefully get it done without oh damn without having to stop the video and attach them all and hopefully as I say no damage caused it looks like that's going to fit in there it's just really temperamental which I suppose is a good thing because it's pretty much like it's brand new it doesn't want to fit in um, and again I don't want to bore you guys too much Especially on such a special figure. Ah, there we go. That's has that gone in? Now it's sort of gone in. Right now I am as I said. I don't want to waste any more time. Ah, there we go. That's the easiest way to do it. I've put it in there and I've just sort of, to be honest, I've just slid it and pushed it down, and it's managed to fit in. But as I say, Skyhopper is exactly the same. So if you go after a Skyhopper, make sure that that clips together okay. Don't forget to close these in before you fold the sides up because otherwise you won't be able to so let's rotate this around take off the blades before i forget and then carefully fold this back very carefully and now you can fold the sides up and then to be honest what i'm going to do because it makes it that bit easier i'm going to attach this now so he fits as i said on that tab you can see where that's fitting now you can see it much better and then it's easier to then attach this inside, is it? Probably not. Let's do it this way around. Yeah, I messed that up. That's what the way I should have done it. Makes it easier to push that in. He still kind of fell over, of course he has. Close this back up. I'm going to attach all the parts to it. And then this is going to go on a shelf. And as I said, I think what I'll probably then do is do a collection of zone figures in a big video just to show you them and then as i say if i can ever commandeer the kitchen table at one point i will do a huge huge battle um or city shall we say All right guys there we go that is the 1990 japanese exclusive redeco of the decepticon skyhopper into the autobot skyhyper let me know what you think of him in the comments take care